This is Susan with Blended Insight, and thank you for joining me. For those of you that don't know me, I am an intuitive, I am an energy healer, and a holistic slash integrative wellness practitioner. And all any of that means is that I just love to learn and grow. I love to develop and evolve and hopefully share what I've learned to inspire others to do the same. On today's podcast, I want to talk about work situations. If you are unhappy at work, and you're trying to find something else, or even if you were laid off, and you're wondering why that happened, and what you can do going forward, this is the podcast for you. I've experienced miserable work situations multiple times in my life. And I'll share with you what I've learned that helped me to shift it. And it's something that we all continually work on, because each and every one of us is a work in progress. And we're all on this journey of evolution together. The first thing I want to talk about is the law of magnetism. You know, I'm not going to go into this fully in depth, but I will just say on a surface level, something that you really need to be aware of is that we only align with energy that is generated from within. So if you have aligned with a work situation in which you are miserable, there is some type of energetic resonance that you are emitting That is being mirrored back to you in your environment. And I know that's very difficult to accept. I'll just give you a personal example here. When I got out of the military, I was a single mom. I had unfortunately got into a relationship with a horribly narcissistic person. At the time, I just felt terrible about myself. I had went through a divorce and my daughter's father, my ex-husband, And he was unfaithful and just really devalued me. And I had already really low self-esteem. So just from my upbringing, I really just didn't feel good about myself. So of course, I matched with a man who also didn't value me. (laughs) And so I was in a low place. Then my brother died. And so I was just in an awful, awful state. So I was looking for a job and I found one and I was desperate at that time because I had been unemployed for three months. And again, I'm a single mom. I'm trying to get on my feet. I just got out of the military. I had just gotten out of a relationship with someone who was awful. He was a manipulator. He was a con artist. And so I was broken and I got this job and the job was awful. (laughs) But what could I really expect? I mean, at the time, I didn't know anything about the law of magnetism. I knew nothing about energy. I wasn't on this path at all that I'm on now. So what would happen in this job is I would work really hard. And my coworkers were all Hispanic, which was fine, but they spoke in Spanish and I didn't speak Spanish. So I felt very excluded. And I would be working hard to produce projects and output, and they really weren't working very hard. And I felt like I was just working constantly while they relaxed and talked and shot, you know, they'd shoot the breeze with each other. And I actually started learning Spanish because I'm like, this is ridiculous. I can't, I can't function in a work environment where I can't even communicate. Um, But the thing was, I was a single mom. I couldn't just quit. I needed the job. So I'm like, okay, I'd go home every night feeling defeated. I felt so isolated. I felt so hopeless. I I had all this debt that was not mine. It was the debt of the person that I was just getting out of a relationship with. I was trying to climb out of that. So my point is, is that what did I do? I started researching how a person can change their world, basically. And I discovered inner talk technology that basically reprograms your subconscious. And I really had to get strip myself clean, strip everything away and become laser focused on raising my vibration, even though I didn't know that's what I was doing at the time. So I started learning about positive thoughts. I had to deepen my spiritual practice and my faith. And this is what brought me out. Now, before I share the specific strategies of what I did and what you can do to pull yourself out of the situation, we have to look at what it is that is resonating vibrationally from you and your environment. 
So when I'll use myself as an example, when I was in that terrible work situation, which was essentially giving me the same feelings that I had in the last two relationships I just got out of, the common denominator was that I didn't feel valued. So I had to look at in what ways am I not valuing myself? Because if I don't feel valued in my work environment, how am I not valuing myself? Sometimes those energetic frequencies can manifest in different types of emotions or different types of circumstances, but the energy is still there. So I had to really look at that like, okay, wait a minute, why am I, why do I feel like I'm constantly giving and overproducing and I'm not receiving it back? Well, I wasn't being very kind to myself because I had low self esteem. So I aligned with relationships that mirrored that, you know, that was my energetic resonance. So I attracted that. So once you begin to own that, you shift yourself out of victim mentality. Wait a minute, I co created with that person, I am not a victim, something in me has to shift so that I can shift my experiences and align with something better. It is your own personal responsibility, and you have the power to do it. And that's the good news. So what I started doing, I had to block out all distractions. This job that I was in, I was working 10 or 11 hour days. The other thing was my daughter was the first one in at daycare and the last one to leave. And I had to deal with all the judgmental looks from the daycare workers. I felt so guilty as a mother because I was working such long hours and I felt bad. And then when we would get home, I'd be so tired. So if you're in this situation, I I get it. I get it. So what I did was I became laser focused on raising my own vibration through basically raising my faith. I started feeding myself with positive information, affirmations that I can do this, that I'm valuable, that I am worthy. I don't have to accept this. And the perfect job opportunity will align with me and I will attract coworkers and bosses and people in my life that can help me, that will lift me up, that will better my life, and that I will be paid very well for it. So I just started listening to the music on the radio. I was listening to every morning atmospheres and affirmations. It's something that Louise Hay did with Mark Chait, I think his name is. Anyway, it's like an affirmation based CD. I listened to it every morning on the way to work. I made sure that I shielded myself. I kept my attitude super positive. And then I just became laser focused on what do I have to do in this job today? Let me get my job done. Let me be super positive. I will not be here forever. I can do anything for a little while. And then when I got off work, no matter how late it was, I got on the computer and applied for jobs. And I was probably sending 10 applications a day. It took months for me to find the perfect opportunity, but I just knew in myself, I cannot stay here and the perfect job is going to find me. And what's kind of funny about this is that I had a couple of opportunities that weren't perfect, but what it did is it energized me to know that my perfect opportunity is close because I I didn't accept those opportunities because I wanted to go into something better and I trusted my intuition and that's important. Trust your instinct and your intuition. So the position that I ended up getting was two pay grades higher than what you would normally get when you're just starting in the government system. And what I found funny is that when I put in my two week job notice at my miserable job, I could feel like the envy, a hateful energy almost like, oh, you're going to go ahead and get a job and, and move out of here. And I thought, okay, I don't align with this. And I'm going to move out. But The actual boss, um, he was like two notches ahead of who I worked for. When I went to let him know, I had to do like an out processing briefing or whatever. He's like, oh, so what level did you get? Which I thought was inappropriate. But I told him and he looked shocked. And he's like, well, normally people don't start at that level. And I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. (laughs) I use the universal laws to my benefit. And... One of the things that I was continually telling myself is that I'm going to expect the best and I'll deal with the rest. You have the choice of what you choose to think, like the outcome that you choose to produce in your mind. You have the power to do that. So instead of scaring yourself with the worst case scenario, 
why not uplift yourself with the best case scenario? And we all have those moments where we're super afraid. Like I had a lot of anxiety I had to work through. That's when I discovered the InnerTalk technology because, you know, they have subliminal affirmations that go into your subconscious and it, it worked well for me. I mean, back then, I don't know, I probably got over 20 programs, InnerTalk programs, because I would realize that, okay, I have codependent patterns that stem from childhood that I need to clear up. I obviously have very destructive relationship patterns that I need to clean up. And all of this stemmed from early childhood. And I know that. So I had to go back and look at my what were my earliest childhood experiences with sexual relationships and with feeling like I matter. After the age of 18, that's your responsibility. You're no longer a victim. What you do with your life after the age of 18 is up to you. There are people that have had horrific childhoods and they are thriving today. Look at Oprah Winfrey even. I mean, my goodness. So it's basically up to you what you choose to do. You can turn your pain and turn your wounds into wisdom. And that's what I've chosen to do. And I still fall off, but I know that there are tools to support me and I focus on pulling myself up. I'm a grown up now. <laughs> so we have to kind of like snap ourselves out of that young inner child mode. Like, wait a minute, I'm a grown up now. I have this. I'm in control of my life. I can do this. So focus on that energy that you're sending out and shift it. That's the first thing. Keep yourself super positive. Do daily action to find a new opportunity or shift the situation you're in. And I'm so excited to let you know that I was directed by spirit to create a program for manifesting new job opportunities. I've been working on it for quite some time. And I finally got it completed. And it's all available and posted up on my website. It is on sale for a limited time. And it's designed to help you release limiting beliefs to release that stagnant and negative energy that's holding you back. It gives suggestions to empower you with things you can do today. And then we do specific cord cutting to previous job, negative job experiences, and things that may be holding you back. We do visualization exercises, and it is all flooded with divine healing energy. I also have affirmations for day and night, and they are also layered with beautiful healing energy to help you to break through manifest what it is that you want. And I just feel really excited to co-create because this, these are processes that I've personally used. I'm still using them. I still need to make sure that I'm boosted up on my worthiness. And I still want to create new job opportunities for myself because I always want to go to the next level of life. That's what this is all about. Evolving, growing, learning, and then reaching out our hand to others to help them do the same. That's the whole reason that we are here. And with all of that said... I'd like to do a nice energy healing to help you absorb the information in this podcast and to help you discover the areas in your life that you need to shift and send you beautiful healing energy to help you in that area so that you can shift this situation and elevate yourself to something better. So if you can just take some nice big deep breaths, relax and receive the energy. Your soul knows the truth and your soul loves the truth. So what's that one area that you need to work on shifting? Chances are you need to work on knowing your inherent value. This is a big one. You are valuable. Embrace your value. You are worthy. You are worthy. And maybe that needs to be a mantra you tell yourself a hundred times a day. I am worthy. I am valuable. I embrace my value. I embrace my worthiness. Just 
breathe through any emotions you feel. You are in control of your destiny because you are in control of your thoughts. You are in control of the energetic resonance that you emit. So from this day forward, choose to focus on positive outcomes. Assume the best and know that you are capable of dealing with the rest. Please drink a little bit of extra water after that healing. And if you're feeling emotional, that's okay. Allow emotions to be and they pass away. Drink some extra water. Pay really close attention to your intuition. And take super good care of yourself because you're worth it. And if you're interested in my Manifesting Job Opportunities program that is blasted with divine healing energy, it is totally 100% directed by source. I was feeling very honored to channel it. You can find the link in the show notes. I'll leave it in the show notes for you so you can learn more. Also, you can visit me at Blended Insight. You can send me messages at Susan at Blended Insight. And as always, I send you all my love. Hang in there. You can do it. You are powerful. You have lots of tools to support you. You just have to work the system, use the tools, take really good care of yourself and know that you are worthy, you are valuable, and you are loved. Thanks for listening.